Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I got the how to make tool abilities video. Not gonna lie, I didn't even pre I didn't even make the script ahead of time, nothing like that, because it's like this. I can honestly go off the top of my head. So what I'm literally about to make is really, literally just off the, off the top of my head, uh, type thing. Um, so pretty much how to make tool abilities. Um, if I'm being completely honest, I don't know why people feel the need to ask me for this video. I'm just being completely honest. If you when you guys watch most of my ability videos and y'all see me like, you know, I usually go, you know, press E activate the ability. If you don't know how to turn that like the like, you know, you press E into where you click while holding a tool. So it's tool activated. If you don't know how to change the functions like between those functions, then I'm like, you probably shouldn't be making abilities. You should honestly be learning the basics. I don't know how many times I have to talk about that because too many people have asked me for this video that's the only reason why i'm making this video i didn't think i had to but a lot of people have asked for it so i was like you know what let me just go ahead and make the video but let's go ahead and get straight into it okay so first things first i just want to clarify like i said i'm just a basic attack this is not like an actual attack i'm not finalizing it cooldowns none of that it's just a basic attack just to demonstrate to you guys um how it worked but anyway okay so let's go ahead and insert a remote event into replicated storage we can rename the remote event to combat event boom right we can open up starter player insert a local script into starter player script or sorry sorry, sorry. oh wow oh that's cool mm, i'm gonna have to look into that i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna have to actually look into that anyway um so what's it called sorry i actually did this wrong we need a tool first i'm sorry we need a tool so we want to insert a tool into starter pack so let's get a tool into starter pack and then insert the local script into it right i mean you could also put the local script inside of starter player scripts you just have to reference it differently so it could still work but yeah so we're gonna have our tool um i guess you could just leave it as tool you want to disable requires handle since we don't obviously have a handle you could rename local script to combat script and in parentheses put local right then we can open up the local script and then let's create a variable i mean it's kind of distracting so i guess i'll just close this out since this is kind of distracting um so we'll delete vanilla world to create a variable for the tool so let's say local tool is equal to script dot parent because the script is directly parented to the tool and then i'm going to say tool and you want to use the activated for actually hold on let me explain something real quick okay so when you use tool that activate that's what i'm going to do tool that activate as it says as you can see fires fired when the player clicks while the tool is equipped so while the player is holding the tool which means the player has to one equip the tool then left click on the mouse button right now if you want it if you want the ability to auto activate like upon them like you know equipping the tool then what you need to do is do equipped equipped as as soon as they you know equip the tool so if you have one tool as soon as you press one boom it'll activate like that so pretty much equipped is one step while activated is two steps. So I'm saying tool that activated, connect function, close parentheses, enter. Then we need to create a variable up here for our motive. And I actually I'm not gonna lie, I kind of forgot to do that. We're gonna go up here and say local combat event is equal to game that replicated storage, wait for child, uh combat oh there you go, combat event, right? And then we're simply just gonna say combat event fire server in quotation marks, you put the name of the event. I'm just gonna put I guess attack. Like I don't really know. Or no, let's do explosion. Like I'm really about to do a very basic attack. Cause I'm like I'm not really about to do like a real thing. So I'm gonna insert a server script into server script service, just like we usually do. And then I'm gonna do comp. I'm gonna rename it combat script server. Boom. Right. We can really copy and paste the combat event portion variable. Replace it with the print. I mean, replace the print hello world with the combat event variable. Then we're gonna say combat event dot on server event connect function. In parentheses put plr show for player comma event type enter get the player's character so say local character is equal to player dot character then i'm going to say if event type is equal to quotation marks um explosion then um you know what let's make this a little interesting actually hold on so i'm making a basic attack where did, I, did not mean to do that so i'm making a basic attack where whenever i left click while the tool is equipped um there will be an explosion wherever my mouse is so let's let's actually yeah let's make this let's make it a little better so let's go here right and let's say local player is equal to game dot players dot local player and then right here we're going to put a comment we're going to say player get mouse dot hit yeah yeah because the front doesn't really matter that much so we're just going to send over the mouse position so then we're going to go over here the comma arg one show for argument number one then we're going to say local mouse position is equal to arg1 right and then i'm going to create an explosion so i'm just going to do local explosion is equal to instance that new explosion parented to the workspace and then i'm going to say explosion 
dot position is equal to mouse position and yeah there we go a basic attack let's go ahead and test to make sure it works and stuff this is obviously not something i'm going to say because there's, there's just no point it's <laughs> a basic thing okay so if i equip the tool boom as you guys can see isn't there supposed to be sound oh well i mean i guess you'd have your own sound effects but it doesn't matter but yeah so you you just probably put like ss you know sound service dot sound explosion whatever play but yeah so boom that's how you make that's simply how you turn abilities into attacks i know i mean it's how you turn keybind abilities into um tool tool it and stuff so you would delete the i know usually i do local uis to game you guys don't have to do this you can do user input service then i'll do uis then put again connect function in parentheses sorry in parentheses input comma you know process then enter if input dot user input types you can do item dot user input type dot keyboard and not process then if input uh, key code is equal to enum.keycode.e boom and then i would say comment event fire server explosion player get mouse dot hit that position that's the difference between how i would set this up if this was a regular ability where i would let me just double check okay i'm good where if i was making a regular ability where i use the e keybind this is how i would set it up that's the difference and stuff just to explain just to show you guys uh side by side the comparison but yeah if you guys know this video i hope it was helpful this was a you know kind of honestly yes no this was a beginner beginner video and stuff I hope this helped people for anyone who needed it and stuff if you guys enjoyed the video definitely leave a like and subscribe definitely go check out my other combat videos and stuff thank you for all the love and support you guys have been showing i think i'm about to hit 6.3 thousand subs we're already on the way to 7,000 subscribers really do appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing me and yeah i'll see you guys next video thank you for watching